We're also working developing news tonight. A convicted child rapist set to be released from prison is now facing new charges. Wayne Chapman was arraigned today. Those charges stem from recent incidents behind bars. Chapman was ordered held without bail. And new tonight, we're hearing from his attorney about the new charges and their timing. Highway to Sue's reporter Steve Nielsen joins us live in studio with more details on these new charges. Steve. Well, Mike Shannon, I spoke with Wayne Chapman's attorney after the arraignment today. She called these new charges convenient and suspicious. Court records detail what prosecutors allege he did Sunday and Monday as he was set to be released. Just before he was set to be released to the public, convicted child rapist Wayne Chapman is back in a Massachusetts courtroom. A Department of Corrections spokesperson says he's facing charges for indecent exposure and gross lewdness. In court paperwork, a nurse says she felt violated as Chapman performed a sexual act on himself. Chapman's attorney told me she believes the timing of the charges is suspicious. Chapman was convicted in 1977 of raping two boys. His sentence ended in 2004, but he's been civilly committed ever since. A Supreme Court judge ruled he could be released after it was determined he was no longer sexually dangerous. Victims spoke at a news conference as he was set to be released. He was given a life sentence that day. I think the offenders should be given the same. I also spoke with Al Mintz over the phone. Hi Al, it's Steve Nielsen again from... The former uh, Providence I police detective interviewed Chapman in the 70s while he faced charges in Providence. Well, that just goes to show you that uh, he ain't cured of nothing. He's a guy that never, was, never went to treatment, refused treatment, and they're going to let him out. Well, he can't wait. He, he can't wait to get out. He's already acting up. And his victims still plan to appeal his release on being civilly committed. He was held without bail today on these new charges. And right now, his victims are holding another news conference on today's news. We'll bring you what we learned from that and a deeper dive into Chapman's connections to Providence on Eyewitness News at 6. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. Developing news now. One of Wayne Chapman's victims just held a news conference in the last hour following Chapman's arrest on new charges. Chapman, a convicted child rapist, was set to be released from a Massachusetts prison but is now being held without bail. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us live in studio with the new reaction. Steve. Well, Mike Shannon, these are entirely new and unrelated charges that come just as he was set to be released from child rape convictions from 1977. In the last 45 minutes, one of his victims held a news conference responding to these new charges that are now keeping him behind bars. People like Wayne Chapman should never be able to get out of jail. They need to be incarcerated until they can no longer offend him. Who knows when that is? Obviously, he's, he can still offend. His as these new charges have shined an even brighter spotlight on Chapman, we've dug deeper into his history, including the investigations that began in Rhode Island. In one psychologist's report, Chapman admits to abusing seven children, four in Rhode Island. The Providence detective who questioned him back in the 70s then told me he remembers it like it was yesterday. Now convicted, child rapist Wayne Chapman is being held without bail. He was set to be released after a Supreme Court judge ruled he was no longer dangerous. New charges now, though. In court documents, a nurse says she felt violated Sunday and Monday because she says Chapman performed a sexual act on himself in front of her. His attorney calls the charges suspicious and convenient. Former Providence police detective Al Mintz spoke to me over the phone saying it was a matter of time. But he's he going to hurt another kid. If one more kid's too many, he's hurt a lot of children. You know, I mean, why would he even consider letting him out? He investigated Chapman for charges out of Providence in the early 70s. Court records show Chapman pleaded no contest to the charges before being extradited to Massachusetts. Chapman lived and worked in Rhode Island. He's thinking about when he gets out, what's his next move? Because, you know, he doesn't have any ankle bracelet when he gets out. The attorney for his victims of his original conviction say they still plan to appeal his scheduled release. Governor Charlie Baker also unveiled legislation in light of this case that would make it harder for someone with Chapman's charges to be released from prison. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.